Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the books and finished pages that I have from, again, I don't know if it's Yana Prosferina, Jana Prosferina, I'm probably saying it all kinds of wrong, but she's one of my favorite artists and I love everything that I've seen from her. So, um, we will start with some of these books in the back here. I'm gonna save this one for last because this one has the one with finished pages. <laughs> the rest of these have nothing finished yet, unfortunately. So um, I'm just gonna kind of flip through the ones that I do have with you guys. And then, um, yeah, then we'll go from there. So these first couple ones are ones that are like very sweet and simple, more simple illustrations. This one is the Whimsical Darlings coloring book. And again, I'm in the back, you get um, thumbnails of all the characters in the book. Two sets, actually, I didn't realize that. So you can uh, practice your colors and stuff on here, so in case you're wondering you know, what colors you wanna use. But these are the illustrations that you get. And I'm just going to do quick flips of these. If you would like to see full flips of any of these, let me know in the comments below. Um, just really beautiful, soft, sweet illustrations. Uh, this one I have put a coat of um, clear gesso on. So I'm going to attempt to do some water mediums on this paper and see how it does. I've done that in several of the books, but this one is the only one with gesso. And it kind of made the ink bleed a little bit so she looks a little grayer than so you can see this is very white and this is a little gray which was upsetting a little bit but you know I should be able to make it work so I'm going to try some wet mediums on this page and see how that goes so that was whimsical darlings the next one I have is fantasy dolls coloring book volume one I believe she offers some of these in grayscale as well. So if you're interested in her grayscale work, you can get that. But I like the line art. Um, and these ones are close up uh, images. Again, simpler things to color, but definitely portraits that are close up. And there's a man in this one. I think there's one male in each of these books. And I those are almost some of my favorite um, pictures but I mean, look how beautiful that is all that hair and you know I'm not always a person who loves to do all the hair but I don't know in her books I'm okay with it for some reason just beautiful artwork and again this is the one that I have pre-prepared I used uh, satin glazing liquid on this one so we'll see how that one goes again this one also kind of the ink moved a little bit which I think I, I did two coats on this one, so maybe that's why and I didn't let it dry or something enough in between. I'm not sure, but a lot of these are gonna be, gonna have some fun. Um, I'm gonna be playing with these coming up shortly. I was gonna try to wait to do these flip throughs until I had done that, but I couldn't, I couldn't wait anymore. <laughs> I just wanted to get these, these flip throughs done. So again, here's your um, thumbnails in the back, test out your colors. And then again, here's the male um, illustration in this one. Just really beautiful. These ones I think are even more simple than the last one. This is the one that I have um, medium on here. I think I used, what did I use, what did I say? Satin glazing liquid on this one. Just so cute though. And now <laughs> this one, is was an experiment to see how I, I could if I could blend with my alcohol markers and I'm gonna say no I can't <laughs> it looks okay on this side but when you flip it over it looks like a hot mess so I'm going to be using my pencils to try to fix what I did to this poor girl I did mean to do the, the hair pink and green because that was from a color long but as I was playing with the markers, I was just like, no, this is not, <laughs> this is not going well. So I'm going to attempt to fix it with my pencils and see how that goes. But yeah, and then I did start another one with some colored or some uh, alcohol markers. Um, I think she'll be pretty too when I'm done with her. But some of these, like especially when it's bigger spaces to fill like that, it's nice to have a base of alcohol markers because then you don't have to do as much work. Um, but I was trying to see if I could just blend the whole thing and it just, 
it didn't work. It did not work. And that's okay. I have learned that I can't blend like I would normally do. Now, if I wanted to scan these and print them on a different um, paper, yes, I, it would totally work fine. But in this book, not so much. Uh, so this one is Mermaids. This one I bought uh, this year for Mermaid. And of course, I did not get to it <laughs> because I have so many other Mermaid books. Uh, most of these are in some kind of frame, which I thought was really cute. Some are more simple. Some have a little bit more detail. Some are portraits, close-ups, full body scenes. Lots of, lots of beautiful work. I really like these. So yeah, so that is her mermaid's book. The next one I got was A World of Fairies because I love all things fantasy. Um, and this book is gorgeous. This one is where she starts getting into a little bit more uh, detailed illustrations. So um, the first or the last several in the back of this book are all uh, landscape. So you have several different illustrations all in landscape. And it's not just um, people, but it's also characters or like animals and stuff. So then here you go with the portrait style now. So beautiful. Very similar to Selena Fennec, but I think her art style is a little softer than Selena Fennec's. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone but me, but yeah. So there is the world of fairies. The next one is uh, Fantasy Realm. This one is one that I really wanted to color in. This is the newest one that I have from her. I believe it might be her newest book. This one was from 2020. Oh, I lied. This one is the newest book. This is from 2022. Uh, but this one is my newest book, I guess. Uh, and I really love, just adore the illustrations in this one, like way more than the other books for some reason. There are several male uh, characters in here and like creaturey guys. And I just loved these. This one was one of my favorites. I think this one is really cute. There's like a mermaid and a mermaid dragon. Um, yeah, I just think it's adorable. I do know that she has an Etsy site as well, so I will share a link to her Etsy shop. Um, so you, if you really like one of these, I don't know how many of these illustrations are available on there, but definitely check her out. So if you wanna, you know, print your stuff on your own paper, you can do that. Here's another one that I have uh, pre-prepared. I'm gonna use, um, try to use water mediums on this page and see how it goes. But I used satin glazing liquid on that one as well. So I'm looking forward to playing in these for sure. The last one is Fairy Coloring Book. Uh, now this one I know for sure is available in grayscale because this one specifically says <laughs> big fat letters, line art. This is the line art version. Uh, but like I said, I like the line art. This one I have a couple done and one whip. And I love, I just love this. Again, you've got a few in landscape format. And then you have some that end up going into portrait. Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful. I think these are just gorgeous. Okay. And then we get into the portrait ones. And now here's one that I finished. This is all pencil. And I used, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember which ones I used. I do remember it taking quite a while to finish, uh, but I was really pleased with it when I was done and um, just wanted to keep working in this book. So I do have a couple more finished in this one. So here on this one, you can tell I used some alcohol markers, um, water-based markers on the trees, and then the rest is all colored pencil. Um, but yeah, I love the way that this one turned out too. Really, really love this. So here's one I've started. This one all is Black Widow so far. Um, I used some blending solution on the background. That took, that hurt my hand. So I, I like stopped working on that one and haven't gone back to it since. But I think it's going to be cool when I do finally get back to it. I already know what I want to color everything. So yeah. And then there's another male, which I love those in here. 
And then my other finished page is this one. This one I just finished this past spring. I wanted to make her very spring and Easter-like using, you know, soft pastel colors. And I added some stickles to her wings there. Tried to make these look similar to Easter lilies. I even added some little freckles onto her nose. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but really liked this one too. This one I used um, uh, Light Fast and Pro Color. Derwent Light Fast and Pro Color to do this one, and it worked really well on the paper. And then for this light pink color in the background, I used my Color Yet Imagine or pencils. Um, and just, yeah, just had a good time blending all that together. And yep. This one is one that I want to work on again very soon. I really want to do this one, and I want to do it similarly to what's on the front. So I want her to have ginger hair. I want her to have nice complexion with some freckles here and there. And I would love to be able to do it in watercolor, but I have not prepped this page yet, so it might just be end up being pencils. But, but yeah, so that is all of my books from... Yana Prosperina, which again, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. And if you know otherwise, in let me know in the comments and I will stop saying it that way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love this artist. I think she has beautiful artwork. Um, a link for all of these books will be in the description as well as a link to her Etsy shop. And I hope you check her out. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.